Um, Shane has put a question up. How can we tackle the challenge of overheating on scroll compressors with 449? Uh, very good question, Shane. Um, 448, 449, we do tend to run quite high discharge temperatures with those refrigerants. And I'll just share my screen again um, for Danfoss Call Selector. And you'll see when that comes up on the screen there, again, very, very good way to see what our discharge temperature should be now this is estimated at 77 degrees which is which is absolutely fine we're not going to cause any problems with that um, there is a way and i'll just put something up on the screen um, from one of the presentations that i did but basically the easiest way to do it shane is to fit a discharge gas thermostat on our um, compressor and he says i'll just put that particular slide up and just swap the screens around and hopefully that will then come up so there we go so commissioning checks discharge temperature uh yeah the the, the easiest way shane is to fit a discharge gas thermostat on the discharge of the machine um and that will put out basically at 130 degrees C uh, and then cut back in I think it's 15 degrees lower than that uh, from memory but yeah that's the easiest way to uh, monitor our discharge gas temperature the other thing to say is obviously make sure that we're measuring our uh, our suction superheat correctly because that has a huge influence on the discharge temperature uh, of our compressor and I'm just going to put another picture up in a second which is that one let's go full screen again and just swap it around so there we go so the other thing we need to do we need to measure our superheat on our evaporator but we also need to measure our total superheat on our uh, system and you can see there very similar to what we had up before we've got our evaporator we've got our expansion valve our file and the same thing evaporating 134a 1.42 bar minus 5 and then to measure our total superheat we need to measure the temperature basically at the suction stub of the machine and you can see there that we are measuring uh, 8 degrees c so we've got 13 kelvin total superheat on our machine absolutely fine that compressor will live a nice long and happy life um, if we had you know a lot of our machines are, are okay for a return gas temperature of 20 degrees c depending on the envelope of the machine but basically you've got to keep that uh, machine operating within its envelope its happy place as i call it um, if you let it outside of that then the discharge temperature will increase very very rapidly um, the other thing also with the scroll if you run it short of gas then the discharge temperature will increase very very rapidly so you've got to be very careful during the commissioning process during the charging process that you are not letting that discharge temperature get too high um, so basically two things one fit a discharge gas thermostat as a safety don't rely on, you, on your HP switch or your LP switch because you will kill a scroll uh, much quicker than those can react so discharge gas discharge gas thermostat uh, is the main one but also you know correct commissioning on the system make sure that you've got your total superheat um, okay so i hope that answers that one shane